What is going on everybody? Nazdrachi today coming back at you with kind of an interesting video. Um, something definitely a little bit different, but as we all know, as consumers of media on YouTube, if you're here, obviously you're seeing this video on YouTube in some format, be it on my channel or 5.9 or wherever I decide to upload this, but we all know that they've removed the dislike count. So that it's no longer public visible information to see dislikes on a video. Okay, they say it's for targeted, you know, harassment, all that other types of stuff. That's all well and good, but a problem that I've personally run into is I say I want to look up a certain technique on Photoshop. I go to YouTube, I type in how to emboss whatever, you know, on Photoshop. Just make up an example here. And I watch a bunch of videos that are not helpful at all, that are directing me to some external website to buy stuff like extensions, packs, or whatever else, and I can't see the dislike meter. So I get baited into watching at least a minute or two of those videos, which is really annoying because you get caught up in some type of scam, some type of waste of time, some type of really bad video, and because you didn't scroll through the comments first and read them, assuming that the video maker didn't curate the comments section in their favor, you didn't see the dislikes to be able to tell, uh, wow, this video is probably not gonna be able to help me out and to quickly navigate to something that's more helpful. So, after all that run around intro, I have found something that temporarily seems to work. This is an extension for, I believe, Chrome, Firefox, maybe a couple other browsers out there, I don't know. So, mostly for PC, I'm not sure, maybe it'll work if you're using Chrome on your mobile device to view YouTube instead of the app for whatever reason, but, Typically, most people aren't going to do that on their phone, so it is something that's going to be more useful for PC. But as you can see on the screen right here, this extension I found, returnyoutubedislike.com. When you go here, it brings you to a very simple interface to install a Chrome extension. And those of you who are familiar with browser extensions know, they just go up here, and we have return YouTube dislike as an active ex extension on the browser. So, when we now install this, go to YouTube here, hopefully, and don't pay any attention, I watch weird stuff on YouTube here, but we'll go to like a Corridor Crew video here, we'll click on it, and we'll see if a video, in fact, shows the dislikes. Now I'm gonna immediately pause this, because we don't want to be copying any of their content, but as you can see, the dislikes pop back up on screen. They got 55k up, 2.6k down. Okay, let's just go back and try something else. We'll go to Charlie here, Penguins, good old Moist Critical here. Check out one of his videos. Uh, we'll do the, let's see, the 18 hours ago, 10,000 Moby Huge Challenge. Okay, this might have inappropriate stuff on it, so let's just pause that. You can, in fact, see the dislike count. Charlie here, he's doing good. We appreciate him on YouTube being a voice of the people over here. He's a man with common sense. Anyways, that is all, you know, irrelevant information. The point is, you can use, for now, this API extension here to get this information and display it for you, which may be helpful for those individuals who actually use the dislike counter for legitimate purposes to, you know, get visual information about what you're about to watch. With that being said, if you're watching this way down in the future from now, I'm not sure this extension will work forever. It really depends on how Google and YouTube alter the API. If it becomes really widespread, they might see this kind of backdoor and shut it down. So hopefully it still works forever, no matter when you may be seeing this video, but uh, we'll toss the link down in the description. I found it extremely useful and it doesn't seem to be in too intrusive on your personal information from what I've noticed so far but I'm not you know, fully endorsing it on that side. I just like to see dislikes, you guys. That's pretty much it for this video. Just wanted to throw that out there, be as helpful as I possibly could for those of you who were equally upset that YouTube removed the dislike meter. With that being said, I'm gonna peace out. We'll see you on the next one.